Hello once again YouTube and audience. I am your host Ian D. Blackburn. And it's been a while since I've done one of these. So tonight I bring to you another of my spirit creatures. And I simply like this card right here. Just for the artwork and I'm glad it's got an ability that's right if you've watched my previous videos it's gonna be the red Eidolon it's called Everflame Eidolon now that picture right there should be framed and hung on the wall behind me somewhere it's not gonna happen but we all have our dreams. Everflame Eidolon is a uh, two drop um, mana calling for if you want to bring it out without the bestow cost. Um, you know, it's one mountain and one other. Um, and its bestow cost is for three which is uh, two and a mountain and you got to decide whether you do that before you play it on, onto a creature or beside a creature um, I like its effect because for a mountain Everflame Adlon gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. If it's an aura enchanted creature, so sorry, let me do that again. If it's an aura, enchanted creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn instead. And also the un Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one, which is ever flame idol on stuffless. So this guy reminds me of like hopeful idolon from Theros original. Um, it basically has the same stats, but is red. Um, if you were to equip it to something, I'd suggest a Minotaur. Because there are so many Minotaurs running around out right now. Like um, Borderland Minotaur, Felhide Minotaur. Um, the, the list is endless. I won't bother you with my long list. But yeah, if we want to give any of those Minotaurs a boost... We could just bestow Everflame Eidolon. Give them a plus one plus one to attack and defense. And for a mountain, we can give it a plus one to attack. Um, it's just a fun card to have in your hand or in your sideboard. And to. Yeah, the. Only downside I can see to it is that it can only go up to a maximum of two defense, um, or should, should I say to attack rather, and one defense. So you know, lightning bolt can kill it, um, shock can kill it. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a creature to kill it. Even the sacrifice effect from Crackling Triton will be enough to kill it. So yeah, that, that, I think it's not the best Eidolon that um, Born of the Gods has produced. But it's a fun one to have if you're playing Red Devotion or one of the red combinations. Um... So yeah, this is what I say. 
to you guys from the Rocket Pit. Good luck, God bless, and from me, good night.